Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at one of the best couples travel trailers that is under 30 feet long. This is the 2021 Open Range Ultralight 2410RL. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you the true and biased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at one of my favorite floor plans, the Open Range Ultralight 2410RL. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? Good, we're out here in North Canton, Ohio. Yes! So Lots of inventory here, actually. Absolutely. So, we're really we're gonna, excited. We're yeah. going to knock out a bunch of stuff today. We really are, yep. And uh, you're welcome. I did bring some of the Florida warm weather with me. I know. What's today's date? I was date? expecting that. The 9th? November 9th? Is yeah. That right? Yeah, that's about right. And yeah. uh, and I expected it to be freezing up here. So did I. But it's. I packed all today. cold clothes. Yep. Let's begin. Model is 2410RL. But the actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 28 feet 3 inches. The dry weight is 5,760 pounds. And well, the hitch weight? 515 pounds. Yes, always remember you do want to get weight distribution bars when you're looking at any travel trailer. Up front here, we do have a nice power tongue jack. You know, it, it's you push the button, it's made by Lipper Component, and it's a lot better than cranking it on and off your truck. We did, it is prepped for two 20 pound propane tanks. And then right here, we have a nice fiberglass front cap with your uh, rock guard right here. It's not diamond plate, but it is some sort of like dark home material right there. Coming down the side here, it is prepped for a solar charger. And as you can see, it, it even gives you instructions on which one will work best for this. It would be the Furion E-Grid. And then here, we do have some storage right there. It is pass-through storage. And then right here, we do have manual stabilizing jacks. Not a problem with that. You just take the cords, Joe, you go boom, 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 boom. Perfect. Coming down the side here, because this is a Highland Ridge open range, it does have the three-year structural warranty, which is very nice. Nice power awning with LED lights. And then you see that, Will? The awnings actually have speakers in the, uh, the awnings actually have speakers, which is nice. Right here, it gives it that surround sound experience. Right here, we have our Lippert component solid steps. Very nice. Check this out. Look at these tires, Will. These are the Super ST tires. I love those. ST205-75R15. Very nice looking rims. Very yeah. clean looking tires. And then right there, you do have the Dexter axles right there. Coming out of the side. Place to uh, hook up a TV on the outside. Okay, and then check this out. No outside kitchen, okay? But here's what it does have. A little fridge, that's all you need. And prep for a grill on the back. That's literally all you need. So many times they'll give you these half kitchens, half sinks. What do we need? Well, we need food and beer. And that's, that's right. what we got, you know? And I love the slam latch door. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for the stinky stinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier right there. Prep for a Furion backup camera. And we have a ladder to get up on the one piece PVC roof. Is it 12 or 15 year warranty now? I don't know. Okay, it's at least 12. I think it might be the 15 year warranty now. Always check with your local General RV. Let's go up on the roof and take a look. Whoa. Whew. I'm shaking this trailer. <laughs> Up here on the roof, you can see this is a nice one piece PVC roof. We have one 15K air conditioning unit. Max air fans right there, and I love this radius roof to help keep water off of it. Great. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. One of the RV salesmen is going to take his fat ass up on the roof. 
see what Pizza's Roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. And I think there's customers. I didn't see anybody in there. There's nobody in there, so that was No, me. that was just you shaking it. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was you and the Carabas from last night. <laughs> <laughs> so right here, one AC unit, 30 amp power cord. We have your docking station right here. I like how they move that from a lock, actually. Oh. Yeah, it's always a pain and it rusts out and yep, everything. Yep. Nope, I like that. And like, what, why, why do people gotta lock it? Right. Also, here's where your potable water fill is. Potable, potable. Perfect. Okay. You have the power gear slide right there. Not power gear, what's that called? Rack and pinion, right? Yeah. Yes, rack and pinion. Yeah. And then right over here is your dump valves, black and gray tank. Easy to dump, easy to access. And then right here is your uh, water heater. And then finishing up is the other side of that pass-through storage. Don't worry about it, we saw it from the other side. Well, well, the outside of this travel trailer looks fantastic, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Start with the bedroom up here. Then the bathroom. The dining area, living area, kitchen, kind of all combined. Okay. All right. Sorry, right, we are a live dealership. There's people watching. I'm wondering if they want to see this one because it's a great one. Uh, let's begin up here, Will. Okay. So I love this floor plan and concept because this is one of the smallest travel trailers, like definitely um, one of the or smaller, like, higher end travel. Like it's an ultra light, but it's a higher end. You can tell with the yep. radius roof, how they build it. It's not one of those like, I guess I'm going to call them like macro ultra lights. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's on the bigger frame. It's like a true travel trailer. But um, it's smaller. Yep, yeah, but smaller. You have these nice Thomas Paine collection theater seats. I love this super comfortable and nice looks like they have some new features this year with usb plugs heat massage everything and right here is a place to put like a little table cup holder here we got a little bit of storage right there and why i like it because you are directly across from the television which we'll show you shortly well, I'm getting a little scared. I know, right? This thing's moving and grooving. <laughs> Over here, we do have some uh, cabinetry there. Very nice. Notice how it's brown cabinetry right here, but then white cabinetry over here. We have a little place maybe for like coffee and everything. And then over here is a nice U-shaped dinette. Very nice. This table does drop down to make a bed. I like how you have three windows all the way around you. Plenty of seating around, so if you do have guests, it's just very nice, very comfortable, and I love this feature. And there is storage underneath the dinette. And then over here, we do have our Insignia television, again, directly across from the sofa. We have a Furion sound bar, and then we have storage underneath there. Well, Will, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this travel trailer here is $37,044 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see right here, we don't have a sale price, but that's no big deal because I know we're going to be able to get you a phenomenal sale price on a upper echelon travel trailer like this. But we'll tell everybody how to get the best sale price. They can call, they can text, they can email, or they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or go to mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Or check out our website, mattsrvreviews.com, where you can get your official Matt's RV Review stickers. Bing! Also, there is a contact us page on the website. Click that contact page. You get in contact with me, y'all. I will get you in contact with somebody from my team at General RV. Will, to get you the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. 
let's continue the video. All right, guys. So that way. Start here. Yeah. Okay. So, like Matt said, it's nice, nice little like coffee station or whatever right there. Yep. Um, good cabinet space overall. Very nice. And it passes through all the way over as far as wow, it can go. Wow, that's deep. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then you got these are not solid surface countertops, but you know, nice finish, double sink. Uh huh. I is it all one piece or is it yeah it's, it's it's all one piece yeah yeah but it's not like that wrapped stuff no 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 so it still can get wet exactly um i like this window actually it's a good size window for being in a kitchen yep and then that's your camping site too which is nice yep a little bit of storage down there yes sir drawers uh-huh and you know for cookie sheets or whatever a high point microwave here Hood range here over your three burner Furion. With a top. glass topper. Yeah. Yep. Very nice. You have a little oven there. Does oh, it light up? It sure does. Ooh. <laughs> and more storage there. Very nice. All right, then you have the, this is a compressor, right? Nope, it's a two way fridge. Runs off both propane and electric. You sure? Yep, you see that Oh right yeah, there? you're right. Oh, well, my sure, <laughs> my sure, of course, of, of course, I'm sure. Actually, I'm. I always guess as well. Yeah. Well, it's not a guess. I have to like. I have to wait until I open it. Yep. And then this is good pantry storage space here. Yes, sir. So, very nice. Very nice. All right. Cool. Well, let's kitchen. go on to the bathroom. Okay. It's time for the tall test. All right. You ready? Okay. Well, first, I would like to say. I hate radius showers. Yes. That has to be the biggest radius shower it I've is, ever seen. Definitely. Wow. Look at this. Close that. Look how much headspace Will has. Yep. For a travel trailer, that's this is impressive. Really good. Yeah. For those of you who don't know Will, he is six foot three. Yep. We have a sink right here. Little medicine cabinet. You have our sink here. And then a little bit of storage right there. It's now time for the toilet test. Wow, I'm very impressed. Yeah, good bathroom. This is great. In like, I wouldn't expect that from a small travel trailer like this. So pretty nice. Oh, Will, this is a prime pooping position. Bing! Uh, just really nice. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Cool. All right, and then there's two ways into the bedroom. You oh, go sorry. This way? Yep. You got that way. And I have this way. We do have a walk around queen bed. We have storage over here. And, and then, then same thing over here. Yes, sir. Really nice. You got um, things on both sides. Good place for you to put a CPAP machine, power, USB. Oh, there's a drawer here too. Cell phone chargers. There's a drawer. Not only that, well, check this out. You know what's on this side? A laundry chute. A laundry chute. I love that. That's cool. Or me, that'd just be my Cheeto trash shoot. <laughs> mm. uh, we have a place for a fan right there. Right here's where you would mount a TV if you wanted to have one. That could be an issue for somebody like Will because it would get into, you'd have to duck under the yeah. TV. Um, but no big deal for somebody like me. And then we have a little bit of storage underneath the bed. And that's the gas grill and it does come with it. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do foist? Three things we like. Let's do dislikes. Okay. Because dislikes is going to be tough for this one. I like a lot of things about this. Okay. So I'm going to need you to think of two dislikes. Okay. I do have one. My first dislike, I do not like this color of the cabinetry. Like, I, I understand what like what they're doing, the separation. But it's only two cabinets. They should have just made it all white. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, there's no separation. Like, in a trailer like this, there is no separation between a living room and a kitchen. It's all in one. Right. Studio apartment style. They should just should have kept it all the same color. So that's one. Two... 
All right, so mine's gonna be kind of in here in the kitchen. I mean, they're only working with so much space, but there's really not. So, so they did go with the like the small pantry for like food storage. Yep. But as far as like your pots and pans and mm -hmm. cooking utensils and stuff mm -hmm. like that, there's not a lot of room. And even this. Yep. Is not you can't really yep. even get it open. Look, all look, the way. try to open that again. Yep, that sofa or the theater seat yep. is right there. So that's two. Yep. And then I think I have a third. Okay. I think I'm going here. Now, now, well, first, first, uh, no, I'll make that a like, okay? So here's what I'm going to say. In this unit, this unit's designed for a couple. Mm -hmm. And I love me a U-shaped dinette. I yes. love U-shaped dinettes. But I feel like in this particular floor plan, they're, you, you're, you're not attracting families, so the U-shaped dinette's kind of pointless. It would have been better to have a bigger booth shaped dinette or even a table and chairs. Right. My it's opinion. mostly just two people. Correct. Yeah. Correct. If you had three or four people, They're then the U shaped in. dinette you, works great. Yeah. But, great. So that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this travel trailer. Ready for me to go first? Sure. Look at this. No carpet in here. Oh, yeah. That's very unique in a travel trailer. Um, very unique, very nice. I love how there's no carpet, and that's just one of the uh, staples to an open range. Yep. So that's one. Mine's on the outside. All right. Maybe you're still my number three. What's that? I don't know. Talk to me. All right. I like how they did. Um, even though they didn't do an outside kitchen, Dang. they still did the fridge and the grill. Dang and it. The grill. Yep. You I like. Um, you know, I don't necessarily need an outside kitchen, but it is nice. Oh, yeah, it is nice to uh, have a fridge outside, you know, throw some sodas or beer or whatever in, and then having that grill outside as well. Yep. Or if you don't want to use the grill, you just have the quick disconnect propane for your own grill or whatever. Yep, very nice. I like that feature as well. And then something else I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like, oh, totally forgot, it does have the thermal package four seasons. What I'm going to like is, I, I like the quality and construction of this travel trailer, and here's what I mean. This is a small travel trailer, but they still make it like all of their open ranges. They, they make it just like this one, in a sense. The bigger wheels, the bigger frame, the lifted up, the cur the curvature on the roof. Yep. You know, there's still all a high lot end of features. higher end features while still keeping the length down, you know, yep. which is very nice. And, and it does make it heavier than your average 24 foot travel trailer but this for the person this is for the person who wants quality in four seasons yep. who still wants something small yeah well will that's it that's the review thank you everybody so much for watching thank you mother nature for making it really warm and nice here in ohio if you guys have any questions about this trailer again please Call me, text me, send me an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell. Or again, go to mattsrvreviews.com. There is a contact me page. You can click contact me now to get a price and fill out a form. And one of my team members will get back to you ASAP because I do get a lot of emails and sometimes it gets all flustered. Uh, in a few seconds, if you like travel trailers from this size, you're going to see it's competition and videos right here. And Will, do you have anything you want to say? Sure. All right, guys, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Let us know three things you like and dislike down below in the comments. And we'll catch you next time. Great. Thank you so much for watching. Again, click another video, watch another video. Leave your feedback down in the comments below. And Will, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.